Hello guys, another Friday, which means video from my office. Not that much about Laravel from technical point of view, but more about career and productivity. And today I want to talk about career globally, careers of people. I noticed a trend, a pattern of careers of people who came through Laravel daily in one form or another. So I've been teaching Laravel for roughly seven to eight years, and I notice a lot of comments from people who started with Laravel or development in general earlier, and now they have some kind of results job, career, business, or whatever. And I noticed the pattern. So a typical person who wants to learn Laravel or development or framework, they come to me or to other course creators or content creators or teachers kind of a bit lost at first. Lost about what to learn, live wire inertia, Laravel rails or whatever. Lost at gazillion of opportunities of how to structure projects, which packages to use, etc. And then if they work hard enough, they have a few breakthroughs along the way. The first breakthrough happens when they launch their first project. Any project with any language, with any design pattern, but they launch something workable. Then they start to understand the ecosystem, understand what's possible and start believing in themselves. And this is the crucial part. And this is actually the hardest part and the part where 90% of people drop off, sadly. Or fortunately for those 10% remaining. Because to cover the base from 0 to 1 or from 0 to 10%, like the first project, you need external boost from someone. It could be a mentor like myself, it could be your local community, it could be someone online or offline. But very rarely developers are self-sufficient, self-motivated and capable of learning in the right way themselves. They need external motivator, external booster. But then what happens, I see the second boost, the second breakthrough that may happen without the external boost from someone. So when the developer starts believing Believing in themselves, they start experimenting so they know kind of the core Laravel framework and then they try this package, that package, they start reading other parts of the docs, they start watching YouTube videos and then it becomes a spiral. They understand more, they know more context, they understand more newer information and then it goes up and up and if they put everything in practice then at some point they should be landing a job or a project for money. So this is kind of the second milestone which as I said may happen without external boost. And talking with successful developers who reach that stage from almost zero, it usually happens in a year or so. If you put enough effort in a year, you totally can create a few projects smaller than bigger, put it on your portfolio, on GitHub, for example, start engaging in conversations on Twitter or open source or YouTube, ask the right questions, then follow up with more practical projects, and then the spiral goes on. So that's the first jump that may happen within a year. And then what happens, I would call it free flight. As soon as developer land their first job or first project, they start believing in themselves, not only in terms of creating the project, but also earning money from that. Then they learn additional things on the job. And then again, if they put enough attention, effort and work and energy into that, they are usually either promoted at the same job or land more opportunities in other places. And while talking to that group of people on Twitter and YouTube, I notice that they come to me more rarely. They come to my videos and courses and tweets for specific advice, for specific problem. They ask very specific question based on things that actually have tried. So they don't ask, should I use Livewire or Inertia? They ask, I tried Livewire, but it is slow for my project. Is it not enough? Should I switch to Inertia? Or something like that. So by that time, the developers are actually capable of learning themselves. So they have learned to learn. And this actually correlates with my Laravel daily courses sales. This is an interesting number I found pretty recently. So developers who purchased yearly membership, for example, during Black Friday, or not necessarily for a year, for example, before the second year when they ask a question, should I extend my membership? Only 30 or 40 percent extend for second year and you would think it's a bad number for me but look what happens they either drop off because they don't need my help anymore that much so they've adopted laravel in a year and then they just need more practice and more practice or another use case they don't work with laravel anymore and they don't need my courses so that's a separate topic but another significant group of those developers don't drop off entirely they switch to lifetime 
membership, which basically means they stay in Laravel ecosystem. They want to pay me for access to all the courses that I will release in the future. But even those people I see in the comments more rarely than newcomers. So all that long explanation, what I'm trying to say here is that you need the first boost of a year max two years and then you can be on your own off to the races to build your career yourself if by that time you still need holding hand and someone guiding you then it's likely that you haven't put enough effort in sustaining yourself even generally speaking about education in the world of ai we don't really know what we need to learn because the subjects will change drastically rapidly over upcoming decades so the most useful skill actually is learning how to learn how to search for information how to choose the right sources or which information to proceed with and stuff like that so general knowledge on how to learn and then that general knowledge can be applied to Laravel, Rails, React, or whatever. So kind of a practical but more philosophical advice to you is look for that one-year boost. Even if you're not in the beginning of your career, not a junior anymore, but you feel kind of stuck in the same job, or you don't feel like progress anymore, just come up with a plan of action where you want to be in one year, at which company, doing what job, working with which projects, with which technologies, and then focus for that year after that year is successful if it is successful then again you will have the result of that good spiral and will be able to reap the benefits of that free flight for a while until the next milestone the next bottleneck and the next phase of your career so yeah kind of a philosophical but more like motivational speech kind of video based on the pattern that i've noticed in my own laravel daily ecosystem of people i talk to including here on youtube in the comments that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.